Today we are going to be removing the Control Center Rogue, and this one is somewhat easier to remove than the others, but it's still going to give us problems. First thing that you'll notice that if you reboot your computer, you're going to have this big thing in your way, and you won't be able to get around it. And um, to start the removal process, we're going to go ahead and get back to our desktop. So what you're going to want to do is hit Control alt delete go ahead and open up your task manager, go to file, run, type in explorer.exe, and hit OK. This will go ahead and bring you back to your desktop. Alright, now you can just minimize this for the moment. Next thing we're going to do is go ahead and download rkill, and rkill is the very useful utility for killing processes that get in our way when we try to remove things. And links are provided, of course. So we'll just go get our kill, go ahead and save it, and run the iExplorer.exe file. This will go ahead and kill the, uh, the control center process for the moment and um, anything else that's not necessary. It takes about 30 seconds or so and it will reload your desktop when it's done. Alright, so you get this nice log that shows what it killed. As you can see it killed our two processes AP and SP which are related to the control center rogue. And now we can remove it. And luckily for us, this thing's easily removable. So all we have to do is download Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. And I guess I'll show that again, so the link is in the description if you don't feel like typing this all in. Okay, now that you've downloaded Malwarebytes, go ahead and run the uh, setup file. And just go ahead and go through the setup. Just click Next, agree to the uh, license agreement, Next, install to the default place. You can make a desktop icon if you want to, you really don't have to. And this is important, you want both of these checked. You want to update Malwarebytes and you want to launch it. So just click Finish. And it will go ahead and update for you. And previous users of Malwarebytes Anti-Malware are going to want to go to the Update tab and check for updates, just to make sure that you're using the latest uh, database. This will make cleaning a lot easier. So go back to the scanner, make sure you're on quick scan, and click scan. And this normally takes anywhere between 5 to 15 minutes, so you can go ahead and take a break or something, go get something to eat, and come back 5 minutes later. Okay, so that scan took me 5 minutes 31 seconds, not too bad. Go ahead and dismiss this dialog box and click show results. You're going to see all the files that Malwarebytes has detected. Make sure they're all checked and remove selected. And it's going to ask you to reboot. Go ahead and do that. And you're going to see this nice log. You can access this later. So just close that. Click yes to restart. And after reboot, your computer appears to be clean. Now to finish up, you can go ahead and delete the rkill file and the malwarebyte setup file, if you want to. Let's go ahead and move that to the recycle bin. And you're pretty much done. Um, remember to have Windows Update on, and remember to have your antivirus program updated daily, and 
Thanks for watching.